Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Empyrean, and today we rebuild our brown vehicle again. <laughs> so last time we visited the tower way, way over there, and we ended up successfully taking the tower out. It was a lot of ammo used to, you know, kind of like risk slash reward. And then when we went back, there was a drone that had taken out our entire, um, our entire uh, ground vehicle. It was gone. Uh, so we're starting from scratch in a way. Um, so yeah, let's get at it, I guess. Uh, so I went ahead and pre-built a lot of the parts so you didn't, we don't have to suffer through them, of course. Uh, that only makes some sense there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get everything up and running again. And uh, we'll be happy with it. And hopefully I've constructed most of what we need. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure I missed something here and there. Um, I have a bag here. I accidentally AFK'd and died from the lack of oxygen and food, I guess. Um, you spawn half health or half rates of everything. But uh, yeah, kind of funny because I wasn't really paying attention at all. And uh, usually I kind of pay attention to that when I'm AFK, but uh, today I just didn't. No big deal. Never died, so now we, we have an experience of death, I guess. Okay, let's see what else here we go. There we go. So, I guess we'll go out here and do what we did before. Hit escape. We hit the ground vehicle vessel button. Uh, as you can see, it comes with our little standard uh, little hover uh, pad on the bomb, so you don't have to make one. They're pretty easy to make anyways if you want to make one. Um, and then now uh, let's get the cockpit up on here next. Looks about good. Actually, we can move it one more maybe. And that way we can just put the lights in the front here. One light there, one light there, and then we'll put one of the thrusters here. Uh, there we go. Then we'll need the thrusters over here too, I guess. Doesn't really matter where you put them. Um, interesting it keeps doing that. I thought... No. Hey, it goes a little further than you, I'm normally used to. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but... We'll just repair it anyways. There we go. Um, then we need our little maneuver thruster here and one over here. Perfect. And then we're going to need our fuel storage. Now these can go kaboom, can't they? So we probably want them somewhat protected. Um, I haven't decided where I want them to be honest yet, but how about, uh, hmm. Really haven't decided. <laughs> Let's go and put the this down first. Then I can go any way, I guess. So there's that, and then uh, our little fridge here can go in the back or wherever. Um, I'm gonna say let's put the thruster in first. Oh, actually, I think we left it inside of the container here. Yeah, there we go. And that way, we can go ahead and give this a home. I'll have this probably coming in like this. Just kind of protected. And then, yeah, so now we got to decide what we want to do with these. Because um, I do want to kind of protect it from any kind of silliness. Especially my kind of silliness these days. Um, so we'll say one here. Do I want one on top too? Or say right here. Hmm. Let's do it this way actually. I have an idea now. That'll work. So what I'm thinking is we'll wall this in to protect it. That'll work, yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. You'll have to access it from the top. You can't do that. See how it breaks that one? Weird, huh? Okay. Um, and then, I'll have to decide what I want to do here yet. Probably going to go ahead and put 
Yeah, I forgot to make storage actually. So what I'm gonna probably do here for that, this design slightly changed around from last time, no big deal there. Um, because cargo storage is good, somewhat. I don't know if I like them anymore, because I still lost everything like a noob, so who knows if I can say I like it. Um, let's go ahead and make the cargo storage anyways. One, two. I'm going to put those right here on the side. Beside these, and then I'll put this one. See if I'm having a problem angling that? There you go, right here. There you go. And so there's the power. Okay. I think we're doing okay. And what I'm thinking is we go here. We have two access slots up here. Now, one thing I didn't include yet, which is not really a derp, but uh, I guess it could be considered a derp, is. Our oxygen tank. You know what? I don't know where a good spot is for safety reasons, but let's put it right here. I'm gonna say right here. Because at the back is probably the safest, because that's away from the cockpit, so the cockpit won't get instantly destroyed, kind of thing. I'm hoping. I mean, either way, a small design like this probably is gonna blow up pretty damn easily, but at least with that kind of design, it should be a little safer, I think. The idea here is you can access these guys back here, but hopefully it's a little safer kind of thing. Um, I'm thinking where, where is a better one? Let's access it like that, I guess. That way you can access all three in one spot. And then, um, let me go ahead and fix this. You know what? I was going to put them there, but I'm going to put them up one higher. There you go. And we probably need to repair something. Apparently not. Now you work fine. <laughs> okay, so we got our little cargo containers here. Put them in. Oh, you know what we didn't include yet? Damn. Not like the biggest thing, but uh, we forgot to put our thruster control in there. Or RCS. There it is. That could cause some problems over time, just slight problems. I mean, not end of the world problems, just enough to be like, what the hell? <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out, oh, it's a one block. Ooh, actually, I know where that'll go then, fine. It'll just go right there. Just make sure everything else is repaired. There's a couple spots. <laughs> It's like, damn, you're not supposed to be that uh, damaged. There you go. And then we'll have one over here. We'll need more of these. And then we can get some oxygen in here. There you go. Okay, so let's get more. I might as well well, I'll get the rest of these, and then I'm going to need some oxygen tanks to bring with. Perfect. And, uh, there you go. Because I took from that one first, that's cool. That's how I like it. And then, of course, if we go in here, I'll use up that oxygen. I thought it would. Whee. Yeah, whatever. Be a pain. So we have uh, not bad. If we stand still, a lot of power time left. Six hundred minutes, which is let's see what the equivalent six hundred minutes is. Uh, ten hours. Cool. And I mean, if we turn off the lights, which I forget which ones are the lights. F. There you go. Got 670 plus, so 11 hours, 13 minutes, full fuel. <laughs> um, it's pretty badass. We forgot to add this puppy on here. This is a must. There you go. There you go. Use the oxygen tank. Perfect. 
And now our storage is back here, which should be a little more accessible by us. I think the last one wasn't quite as easy for us to access, so it was a bit of a pain, but this should make it a little easier for us. And there you have it. This should do everything just fine. Forward, let it stop, yep. Wait, the power's even up more? I guess we just had to... It was doing something? Charging something? I don't even know. What the hell? We we're supposed to be even more uh, powerful. So now, just sitting here, it will last over 15 hours. Basically 16 hours in total, this thing will last at full power. <laughs> Idle, of course, but uh, that's awesome. And with the light on, uh, you're looking at like 14-ish hours. That is pretty awesome. I mean, the light helps anyways. Big bright light. It's like our mobile light source. Well, anyways, that was that. That sucked that we did uh, lose our ground vehicle, but we built a new one. I don't know if it's much better. I wouldn't say it's better in armor, but it has a little bit more uh, extra power storage on it. I guess it's kind of good. Uh, a little more easy accessible. Uh, containers at the back so I don't have to fly up all the way to the top all the time now. Um, you can even put a small constructor on if you want just so you can manufacture whatever out in the middle of the field which you know what I'm gonna do that for fun. I think that would be kind of a fun thing to do. Might even put it right there at the back. Wouldn't really matter where it goes to be honest. You don't take damage from that, so it could be really anywhere. I might put it right... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put right... Right there. Make sure everything's repaired, because we know this likes to derp. Just not one... I'm saying it would do it, <laughs> only... You know, it's like I'll say it will do it, and then it won't do it, of course, so... And this means we can... Say, for example, put ore or something on there and have it process on the go, which I think it would be actually pretty fun to do, so I'm really happy about that. Talking about ores and stuff, we better check our power. We're probably getting low here. Oh, these are finally making the energy pack. So this, all these pellets went all the way to over here, basically. So these would be in uh, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, and then 657. Well, 999, but yeah, that was quite a bit of uh, Promethean pellets we've made. And then, of course, you can see all the Promethean we now have here, which is ridiculous, <laughs> which is good. Uh, this is went through a lot of power. Uh, basically, crafting like this goes through a lot of power but it'll be all good. Because if we go P right now, you'll see like one hour, 20 minutes of power left, which isn't a lot, but it's because it's just been non-stop manufacturing. Once that stops, it won't be so bad, but till then. I like how it goes down like that. I think that's the coolest thing ever. Okay, so what's on the menu for, hmm. Not much of a menu. I need to make these a little more abundant soon. Of course we were low on bullets because we lost all our bullets because I put stored the small ones inside of there and because in case I died that ended up being a bad idea because they blew up I guess I don't know I don't remember picking up my bullets I thought both cargo containers were intact but I guess they weren't or maybe I put it in the fridge I don't know. I'm missing a hell of a lot of normal rounds, let's put it that way, because I had like almost 200 of those, didn't I? And uh, yeah, they don't exist anymore, so. That kind of sucks, my friends. That kind of really sucks. Not much you can do in that. I mean, that happens. Um, oh yeah, let's go pick up our thing here. I almost forgot about that. Did I already pick it up? Oh, I already have it in my inventory. Let's put this in our fridge for now. <laughs> Need to go on a bit of a hunt for food here. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, we're putting this on here. Yeah. 
There you go. This doesn't matter. Ta da! So now we can just do ore processing. I'd say this is probably just for like ore processing on the go. Probably won't use more power. I don't think it does really. No. Not less if it's in use. Then it probably would use quite a bit of power. But that's fine because that is exactly what we wanted. Um, you know what would be cool, which you can't get one, a mobile version of this to cook food on the go? I'm a little sad there isn't one, but I mean, you have to have some balance to things. You need like a reason to have a base, etc. Uh, these are 40 food value. You can make french fries with those, can't you? Perch time 30, do 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 do, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take all these out and just make potatoes, french fries, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna keep the tomatoes because I need to use it for there's the other meat that you can extend quite a bit with tomatoes, and I need to start doing that. Um, oh, it was with the canned. Yeah, they were really good, actually. Yeah, there we are. So we need... Oh, what? Pumpkins. No, that's canned vegetables. Never mind. This one right here. Raw meat and tomatoes. Yeah. Purified water and metal plates. So metal plates, I mean, of course we got a million of those. We can easily donate to the, the cause. Um, but raw meat, of course, is easy, and the tomatoes, well, we got lots of those, and we want to keep growing those just for this, because it gives 170 food, but the perish time is 350 minutes. That is really good, because 60, 120, 240, so three, that's five hours, almost six hours, am I right? Five hours, 50 minutes, I think. My time is probably off, but... Anyways, either way, versus what I've been eating here, which is just 100 food and 70 perish, I think that, those would be our best, best, best uh, way to go. I think it's okay stamina as well, and 170 food, so the tomatoes get extended quite a bit. Tomatoes on their own are only uh, 25 food, to give you an example, so yeah, the mix of them works really, really, really well. Okay, so what are we going to do about bullets? Because we don't... <laughs> it's like, what do we do about that? It's because we don't really have any? I don't know what one would do about that. Um, I guess we can make more. I mean, we do know that we can make a lot of bullets. Um, it might be time to upgrade our weapons. Laser pistol. Oh, what do you use for ammo? Laser pistol charge. Oh, if it uses, like, Prometheum? Oh! Because, I mean, I, I know Prometheum is pretty expensive, too, but at this point, no, not really. Laser... Oh, uses a fuel pack, two metal pieces, advanced CPU... What? Wow, that advanced CPU just punches you right in the face. A fuel pack was not a big uh, big deal, but the uh, yeah the advanced CPU does not make it easy. Um, so our pistol right now is 40 damage to the head multiplier. The assault rifle, of course, uses a six. So this is a 50 cal. Is there like an advanced version? I know there's advanced guns, but I wonder if there's like an advanced version of you know to the head. What's the range, actually? I never looked at the range. 25 for the shotgun. What's the range on this puppy? 70. So that's actually really good. Pulse sniper rifle. Yeah, 12 sevens. Yeah, I mean, they're awesome. To the head is even better. But sniper rounds are probably going to be really ridiculous. Metal pieces, five, two magnesium powder. Wow, actually, that's not bad. Five metal pieces, two magnesium powder. So let's see. Um, if you shoot something in the head, you get 250 range, too. Oh, that's the advanced sniper rifle. But uh, yeah, let's say, um, how much is the advanced CPU? I don't know what advanced CPU would cost. Of course, we've never made one, so. Is this it? Actrum, okay, so we, we can't make that yet. So let's judge it on the normal base sniper rifle. Um, 
Normal sniper rifle, please. Probably can make it. Okay, there you go. So, 80 damage. Damage multiply on the head. So, 160... 220, 240, 160, so yeah, that's 40 and another, yeah, so 240 damage to the head versus 80 damage to the head. Um, so, to make the 50 cals, we're looking at two metal pieces, two magnesium powder. Output 10. Ooh, we gotta remember the output. So, 10 versus. Ooh, only output five. Yeah. You know, it's still better, to be honest. The sniper rifle is kind of better, I guess, but you want to make sure every shot counts. Yeah, we'll make a sniper rifle. Why not? Too bad about the loser. Ha! I was excited until I, like, freaking for the charges themselves, and I don't think they're recyclable, so they're like, you use them, that's it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So we'll go with fifty rounds, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how well this works. Another one of those. Can we get? No. It's like wondering if we could uh, get a distance. So I wonder what the rocket launcher goes for here, and what the damage is on a rocket. Because we're gonna need one eventually, maybe to take out the other towers. Maybe it'll be easier than here's a rocket launcher. So a rocket launcher. Craft time. Oh wow, metal components, some other metal components. That means I'm gonna run out of those rounds. Uh, rocket damage, uh, 180, explosion radius, 5. Huh. Well, as if it does something special to structures more than I have a feeling it's not gonna. I don't think they have a, you know, like for now, you know, like a, ter like a normal gun should do like next to no damage to a block. And then a rocket should do a lot of damage. I think at this point that that's not the case. So I think the rocket would actually be really bad at this point. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of sure on that. Okay, let's see if we can find something to shoot around here. Of course, when we want to shoot something, nothing's around, right? <laughs> That's usually how it works in video games. You want to kill something? Well, we, we have nothing for you to kill today. Oh, we should probably make more metal pieces. Because we're completely out. It's kind of funny we're out of metal pieces, actually. Where are they? There they are. That's going to use a lot of iron. We're going to have to search for more iron eventually here. Like, soon. Right away. We don't have any more iron besides that, so yeah, we'll run out quickly. Um, let's go for a bit of a hunting trip, I guess, for a couple minutes anyways. Gotta try out our beans here, or whatever we're making. Interesting, though, when you are trying to look for mobs, they don't exist. They never did exist. Oh, here you go. So this one's a little close, but whatever. Now see that? 
has always been a problem for me, right there. there you go. Yeah, I can't say if I like the sniper rifle, because it's like, was I actually hitting? Like, I mean, we we're at a good distance either. I gotta give that, you know, big massive credit difference there, but I shot right through his head, because the hitboxes are kind of weird at times, so. Uh, and my reticle wasn't showing him too either when I did the shot, so I, I guess I need to pay attention to that. Yeah. Is there another one around here? There's like the worst ones. Like the only ones I find are oh here you go, this is better. Here you go. No way, I made the wrong ammo. This was for the other ammo, isn't it? Oh, I'm supposed to make a six point eight and oh, ha, 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 I screwed up big time. Whatever. Oh crap. Yeah, yeah, food is served. Might as well pick up these friendly ones over here. Worst part is they are friendly until I shoot them. I like that little arrow. Do do do. What the hell are you doing, man? See, that's what I mean. What is going on here? I'm pretty sure I got a good aim on it. Just yeah, it's a. Uh, it's weird. It's like behind them, they have no proper hitbox. Yeah, we're running out of ammo. That's it for now. Okay, well, we know not to... Ah! Uh, not to go for that. Next next episode is definitely a mining episode, by the way. Nothing but mining. We need to get more iron. Um, but, yeah. It's weird, because when they're turned around, it's like it goes right through them. I'm not sure about that. Like I said, Alpha. Could be a bug be another issue, technical issue, something that's not implemented yet. Many reasons, but no big deal to me. Just gotta remember that. Um, so, we got a lot of meat anyway, so... Oh, and yeah, we forgot we were making french fries for ourselves. So, we put this meat in here. There we go. And, uh, oh yeah, we need tomatoes. Whatever we need. So one tomato for that one, one for that one, one for that one, and one for that one, one for that one, two. There you go, I think that's enough. And canned meat, I guess. There you go. And I think the rest can go in here. There you go. And well, everything shifts over here, anyways. There you go. I can't believe I made the wrong ammo too. <laughs> six, six, eight, right? Yeah. Um. So let's see the difference on those cost-wise. Probably like even worse. This is the exact same cost. Oh, output count twenty-five. What? So, sniper rifle is actually way worth it then, I think. 80, 160, uh, 240. Output 25, beyond worth it because projectile pistols here, 50 cals are like garbage compared to that in price. Output 10. 
I mean, it's 2-2, but that magnesium powder is actually where it costs the most. The magnesium powder is the same. Powder is the same. It's just the metal pieces increase slightly. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we learned something today. And there you go. We have canned meat that'll last forever now. Awesome. We'll, we'll keep them stored in here, of course, for now. It looks like Chef Boardy. I don't know how well this is going to be for legal issues. <laughs> Probably isn't, but I just don't want them to get sued, man. The world's, the world's hostile out there. Um, might as well put the rest of these in here. Oops. Perfect. And there we have it. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we got our ground vehicle back up and running. We'll be going on a mining trip next time. We're going to have some ammo because I'll make the right ammo for our rifle. We'll have some for our p uh, pistol as well because I think our pistol is still kind of good for that kind of stuff. Uh, actually, before we end this, let's check one more uh, cost factor here. Um, assault rifle uses 6 point he What? Use the same ammo? Oh no! Was I looking at the assault rifle? Oh no, oh no, no. I was looking at the wrong ammo. 12 sevenths. How idiotic am I? That's expensive. That's, that's, that makes more sense. Wow, so the assault rifle is actually cheaper. Damage to the head is more. Capacity is more. Wow, assault rifle is way cheaper to make, guys, use. That makes me even more happier to know that. Same damage, base, uh, 0.5 times more on the head, and you get basically more out of it from the magnesium. So, yeah, for now on, the sniper rifle gets put away, because we learned a lesson on that. And honestly, the pistol's going to get put away, too, because I'm going to just end up just using the rifle only. It will be our only gun that we use for now on because the ammo is way too cheap uh, compared to the rest of them. So there we have it. I derped up. It's good. I took a little second look. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see you wonderful people next time.